welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy! We're going back into the terrace. Why? Wow, it's been a while since we last been in here. Why are we coming back? Because we have a cosmic comet. Oh, God. Cosmic. Wait, what's a cosmic comet? They're a special kind of comet. And by that I mean <laughs> they're, such, they're essentially hell. clone races. Yeah, clone races. Yep. Oh, snap. Bad line has found us. Yep, he found us. Oh, it is kind of bad line, And they actually. are so much worse in Galaxy 2. Except it's not Bowser Jr. in disguise. Nope, it's just a random pretender. Do they explain what they are? Nope. I don't think nope. they really need to. I love how they brought back the theme. Yeah. We yeah, know like, that. you know this is a big deal. We know that. Some assault. Eh, you already knew that. What the heck? Another me? It sounds like you're saying, and now. Uh, I'm <laughs> oh, getting so a... sick and tired of random pretenders. Got it. There you whoa, go. Wait, whoa, wait, whoa. Wait, what do was that? that? I never figured yeah. that out. Yeah, you might want to explain that speed boost. Um, I can't remember how to do it. I think you hold down Z as you're getting ready to start, and then and the control stick forward, and then right when the race starts, you press A and you get a speed boost. Yes. Huh. I think that's how it works, or I'm, I'm, it might be the other way around. Like you guys, I didn't know about that trick until Whee! up until way later, like well after I've done like what two full, yeah. two or three full. The papers. timing can be a little tricky though. Yeah, it can be. If you're Backward not... somersault. Oh jeez. Careful with the honey. Well, don't don't worry too much about it. Cosmic Mario is as dumb as rocks. Yep. Yeah. It's it's Cosmic Luigi who does all the short shortcuts. Oh yeah, Cosmic Luigi. <laughs> yeah. Is a yeah. Ugh. That's Whee! the one I remember. He's a cheat. He's a cheater. Uh, uh, excuse my joke, but Cosmic Luigi can go into a black hole. Aww. <laughs> Aww. No, no, yeah, I, Cosmic I sense, agree. that makes sense. Yeah, in another Cosmic. sense, that just doesn't seem right. <laughs> anyway, we got another one. Yep. There are yep. 120, you said, Rosalina's in this game? Rosalina's library is open. Now we can read the storybook. Yay, lore! Yay. Everyone's favorite part of a Mario game. Now, real quick. Wait, um, where am I going? Because no. I don't know I how... I just want to see if there are any other comments. The map. Um, do you go through any of the storybook in your recorded playthrough? I do. All at once, or okay. in the or in the sections? Um, in. I already looked ahead of time. She does it in sections. Okay. Yep. Okay. For convenience' sake. And to leave assholes in suspense. Alrighty, time to learn the lore. Here we go. I, oh. I love this music. Um, hi there. How did you How did you beat us here? Let us begin. Okay. <laughs> I have teleportation powers, bitch. <laughs> she typically does. Chapter 1, The Celestial Duel. Flip the page here. Quiet, it's story time. Oh, okay. The story okay. begins with a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a small star child. I wonder who that very young girl is. <laughs> hmm. I wonder too. What is your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. That's a rather deep voice for a child. I'm Luma and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet. Said the star child who had been waiting day and night. Oh, no. Pinky Don't swear. worry, I'll wait with you. The little girl promised Luma. And they made a pinky promise even though Lumas have no pinkies. <laughs> they and just have little, the little girl. Things. The little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. Wow, I'm surprised she's so dedicated to this th yeah. whole thing. Yeah. That's commitment. Poor little Luma. kids are. Finally, the little girl s sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here and looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. An Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? I had an idea. Screw my parents. <laughs> By parents who I may or may not have. fixed up the rusty spaceship, and then the two set sail to the starry sky. And that is how the search for the Celestial Mother began. Also, that ship is totally the uh, Captain Toad Brigade ship, just saying. Yep. But, mm -hmm. but no, no, back up. She just oh, we already, have, oh, we already have chapter two oh, here. Oh, okay. Chapter two, Star Wars. How are they? Uh, how are they unlocked by star count? Uh, I think. yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, days passed with no sign of the comet or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended for as far as the eye could see. In the distance, you could hear a faint, No barrel! If I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above the rumble of her belly. <laughs> Aww. In the distance, use the brakes to get through! <laughs> Before they left, she had packed all the essentials. Telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and hmm. apricot-flavored tea. But yeah. Something about the stuffed bunny. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Looks a little familiar. I forgot to bring water! 
At this so Uma burst into gales of laughter and the girl began to pout. You remember tea, but not <laughs> you water. You can't live without water. I can't stop me. It's only a I'll be fine, said Luma. Want up? The little girl couldn't stay mad after hearing this. For she had already died of drought and exhaustion. <laughs> I, might, I might die of dehydration, but I'll have star bits. Luma continued to laugh, and the girl couldn't help but join in. I'm going to well, die. She... <laughs> All right, maybe just a nibble. Okay, let's see. Well, she does have tea, so it's not like she'll like. But yeah, she's just stupid that's a lot that of she bought tea but not water. Yeah. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. Aww. They I wasn't sure if I had time to. I wasn't <laughs> sure if I. The star bits tasted like honey. Because they're honey candy. Hmm. Yep. Basically. Oh, and I guess that's that for now. That's it for now. That should do it for today. Oh, I want to hear more. <laughs> I died there that day, and Mario looks and wipes his eyes, and it's just a skeleton in the chair all along. Dinner. Could, you know, I could totally see Mario just kind of on his stomach, just propped up on his elbows, listening to the story. That's that cute. <laughs> Even cuter if it was Luigi, yeah. though. I'll listen to the Blue Luma. Mama's gonna make me a storybook! Sorry, she's done for the day. <laughs> what? Yeah. Mario's 24, he can't... Or 25, oh, however old he is. He's, he's 24. 24, okay. Oh, that age you care about. Yeah. They up and confirmed that. He's literally in his <laughs> mid-20s. Holy crap, I'm, holy crap, I'm actually now he's as younger old than as Mario. Me. Oh my god. I'm as old as I'm Mario. I'm older than Mario! The fact that I'm two years older than Mario is kind of sad. We're, we're all and I don't even have a mustache as big as that. The fact and look at... Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh hey, we're about to fly into a living toilet! Alright, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> guys, 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 hang on. What's up, Pipe? Yes. That's the age that James cares about. <laughs> oh. Like, he gets on our case for talking about Sonic ages, but Mario age is like, no, this is top priority. Because Sonic's ages make them all underage. <laughs> Technically. I mean, at the end of the day, like, age doesn't matter, but I mean, hey, if they give him a, a concrete age, then fine, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like they ever do with Sonic. Yeah, this beach ball is pretty much Penguin Paradise. Uh, Even though there's no ice and we could die. Yeah, that's, you're, you're not, you're not like Pablo the Penguin. <laughs> I completely forgot about Pablo. Yeah. Three anyway, I just... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Woo. Anyway, I also <laughs> just remembered one other Sorry. joke that I was. Wee. One other joke that I was gonna make regarding the storybook. It's like, my, this is a great storybook. I can't. Uh, a great storybook. Something tells me that this is the only reason people insist this game's perfect. No. This. Uh, okay. I, I think this game is great. It's still my favorite. Like. 3D Mario game like this that the The students yeah. are distracted by the sparklies! <laughs> okay, let's go get the... Ah, oh, sparklies! What are they taste? Of course, of course, I think Odyssey now beats this out by a bit, but this was for a time my favorite Mario game, and 2 just did it but better. Yeah, like if, any, if anything else, the one thing Galaxy does have over the uh, over its sequel is uh, it's, it does a little bit a better job of world building. A little bit. But well, that's I, the, I well, also kind of miss that... Oh, oh, ow! <laughs> Go ahead, hype. Well, actually, I think I'll let Allie finish her statement first. What were you saying? Well, I kind of, I kind of miss the open world aspect. I mean, sort of open world. I mean, like you know, yeah. going into it, it, it. This was more akin to to Super Mario 64, which I liked. <laughs> I, that one was definitely open so world, like you know. There were certain there were there were rooms that I you could see. unlock if you had enough stars. This one operates in much the same way. Oh, I kind of I kind of miss that. I, I kind of Galaxy Two. It's just stage based. Yeah, in Galaxy yeah. Two, while the gameplay was good, I do I do kind of miss the open world aspect. Also, be careful. It is very much possible to just swim right out of this water into the abyss. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you did it just the right way. Whee! But anyway, the joke that I just climbed. The why I was, whoop, but the reason why I was bringing up the story book is that it does bring up like one particular point of contention that I know a lot of people love Galaxy for, but it's kind of something that I think kind of, I guess for lack of a better word, spoils all the fans for it. Just because of like how Galaxy does its story, and by story I mean mainly just the little side story with Rosalina. Off a lot of people are kind of... <laughs> I was about to say, like, ever since that and they showed off that book with Rosalina, now it's come to a point where Mario fans seem to despise the idea of having anything less than that. Well, to be fair, it, it, to be fair, I can't say I blame them for feeling that way, because when you stop and think about it, Mario 
plots tend to be so got so bare bones. Like it, whenever you get any sort of sort of hint of lore, lore or world building, it just nothing else really compares. I mean, hell, I mean, we stop to think of that's kind of the reason why some people like to say that oh, Ozzy's the best freaking thing, and that 3D World was just a shame, it's just a shameful pretender. Even though I still think 3D World's a great game on its own merits, it's just yeah. some people just prefer, yeah, just prefer a little bit of extra meat into meat into their package. Yeah, people like stories. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, they don't have to be overly, overly elaborate. They just have to. They just have to. Well, there just has to be some sort of hidden, hidden within the uh, teams. Right. Yeah. Okay, we did it. it. I guess it just kind of bugs me whenever people kind of. It's like when you brought up 3D World. It, it kind of bugs me when people just like berate and say, "Oh, that's legitimately terrible," just because it doesn't have something like Galaxy has. Well, hey, some people just take some people just take that take their whole appreciation of one thing a wee bit too far and just knock down others because of it. Like yeah. at that point, yeah, they're just being stupid. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's like a few people though. Totally not pointing fingers at Iki, but yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we're going back. We're going back to the bathroom. I mean, fountain. <laughs> it's totally a bathroom. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Yeah, you! Got me take the Star Wars? If you really want to Star Wars, I'm done with I need 400 Star Wars to the Hunger Pangs. <laughs> okay, okay, settle down and chew your food. I think the Hungry Lumas are me. I think it's supper time. You know, it's a good thing we didn't go inside the bathroom, because for all we know, maybe Rosalina was taking a bath at the time. And yeah. boy, would that have been awkward. <laughs> oh, but yes. I, but I have to fight Bowser! Get out of here! The Sling Pod Galaxy. You peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you pervert! <laughs> oh, Toad! <laughs> Toad, very, very sticky, sticky situation. situation. Ew. Actually, actually, I was trying to be... Well, that wasn't really Toad. That was trying to be just just that moment, just kind of, you know, humoring Ellie. I was trying to be Bagan... The Witch from Rayman 3. Uh... Oh, okay. I almost forgot about her, actually. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, so, honestly, the way you make it sound, it sounds like your tone impression, so... Yeah. Well, that's kind of how she sounds, at least in the cutscene. Well, not the cutscenes, in the gameplay. I know, I know, I'm just saying. I just felt she was a deep... She was more... Well, she had a couple different voices. When she's all she happy weird. and, like, stuff with Razov, she sounds what? like a... Oh, oh, I oh, hate! Boy. Down I go! When she's getting all... Ow! Look. I hate yeah, the perfectionism that this requires. When she's getting all lovey dovey with Razov, she almost sounds like a deeper Miss Piggy, but most yeah. of the time she's like, No, oh, you wait, 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 wait. Like when she's, she's, like, when she's upset, she's high pitched and raspy, but when she's like being more lewd, she has a more, she has a deeper, richer voice. Oh, yes, okay. Which honestly, I think, oh, I think whoa. a lot of that is mainly just due to the fact of how. The, the weird inconsistencies with the voice work because it also kind of applies with Glowbox because like when you're in gameplay in certain real-time cutscenes it's John Leguizamo but in the cinematics it's a completely different person well yeah, yeah, it's, oh, it's, yeah. His act, it's his actor from the European version of the game which the more I think about it I kind of don't see why they had they really needed to change it that badly yeah hey wait I, man hey wait man when are we going to get to the doctors it, it works I think I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm just wondering why they bothered. I mean, like, he has funny lines, but I think John Leguizamo was kind of random. It was random. I mean, granted, I don't mind it. Grant, I don't mind it. It's just that they, it, it just felt like, it felt kind of unnecessary. Yeah. Like, they just wanted, or they really wanted to have a celebrity voice. It's, well, celebrity in quotes, but, um, it also... It, and again, it also doesn't help either, considering the fact that they didn't even bother having him redub all the uh, CG cutscenes. That Glowbox yeah. was in, anyway. Oh, she's... I mean, Raymond was all consistent. Right. Well, that's because he has, like, the same actor in all the versions. Right. Weirdly enough, uh, I, I noticed, like, when I when I went back through the game in a in a different language one time, his, uh, like, certain, certain moments... Like when he's doing his grimace, that's that's his European voice actor. Huh. Really? Oh, yeah. is it possible to get through those fire bars here? <laughs> oh, oh, if you believe. Anyway, so terribly sorry believe. about tur turning this commentary to, to a tangent over a franchise that doesn't really... That, that's not relevant, but yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Now this one is very possible to I miss. thought I seriously thought I was going to miss it. Yeah, that level was kind of a pain, but honestly, that's like one of the worst things this game has to offer. Yep. That and one particular asshat, which I forgot if we've actually shown off or not. Yeah. Uh, who are you referring to? Uh, the, I think it was, it was that one, um, it was that one, uh, 
Hungry Luma comment that takes you to the robot with the junk. Oh, the junk, the the, ju the junk oh. cleanup one. Oh yeah, we haven't gone to him yet. Not yet. That's in Battle Rock Galaxy. Wait, what, I believe. what are you referring to? The Battle Rock Galaxy. Oh right. The junk cleanup minigame with the bombs. Oh dear mm. God, no. Yeah, <laughs> that shit can go suck a quack, but we'll get to that next time. Yep. Bye bye. See y'all later. Bye bye. bye. bye.